Hello, good morning. Uh, Sir Owen Jokno asked uh, if it is possible to hide the correct answers in the quiz review in iStudy or Moodle. So I found this uh, page that shows how to do it. So this is how to do it easily. First of all, I had to configure the Moodle admin to show blocks during quiz attempts because there are many ways of doing it. But since uh, this is our own Moodle, I found out uh, initially I tried to do that, but it didn't work. So I found out one Q&A here that it says you have to set it up also in add admin. So we did that already and this is an easier way. First, I want to show that it works. First, here I have a, 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 a Aeolus test experimental course. I already took the quiz three times as a student, pretending to be a student role. This one, I got two out of two, one out of two, and zero out of two. If I review this, it doesn't show any of the correct answers, whether I click one page at a time. So if I click the half, it only shows the incorrect answer, even if I click the question one at a time. If I see the this quiz where all my answers are wrong, if I click review, it shows all only the incorrect answers, all of them. So how did we do that? Okay, let me demonstrate by going back to teacher mode and resetting everything else okay so let me just delete this quiz also okay we're going to create a quiz from scratch quiz named t yes and make sure you click in appearance and show more show blocks during quiz attempts in the quiz click this make sure this is yes then save and return to course this is supposed to be quiz one and then we're going to edit the quiz and add questions edit quiz, add questions. I'm just going to add two questions, two true or false question. questions. This is supposed to be true. And another question, which answer is supposed to be false. Okay, correct. And that's all. Let's to put the correct ready. Now uh, let's go back to the class. We have to add a block. It says here you can put it in an HTML block. So in our course, we are here in editing mode. If you scroll down in this pane, there is an add block here. You just click add block and then choose an HTML block and it comes out from this side. It will consume some space. That is, I don't know how to move that, but that's. And we will just name this uh, block uh, something, I don't know, maybe just put this. And then we have to click this show hide advanced buttons and then we have to click this HTML code then you can delete that if you want and then we need to copy this html code perfectly including everything and then we have to paste this here and then what else we uh, where this block appears we make sure you click any page because if you click only course main page, it might not show in the quiz any page. There is no option. 
okay and there is no option also make sure it's visible just click save and you see the HTML block here maybe we could name this as something helpful pray without ceasing okay so it is uh, helpful okay we have a quiz now let's pretend to be a student we have put the block in we have a quiz with two questions now let's try to be a student I just click switch role to and then student now let's go to the class as a student you see I'm browsing it as a student there is a pray without ceasing quotation here let me try the quiz I'm going to answer perfectly this first attempt and it hid both of the answers even if I show one page at a time it's still hiding now let me reattempt the quiz I'll answer 50% correct and it only shows the incorrect question number two if I click question number one it's not showing oh it's showing okay show one page at a time question number one is not showing question number two is showing correct if I in, uh, attempt the quiz and answer wrong everything submit finish it shows only the wrong answers one page at a time shows also wrong answers question number one wrong answer question number two so to review you have to create an HTML block by adding it here or by going back to your teacher role you have editing on add HTML block copy and paste the code here in your HTML block you just click this advanced and then this one to shield the HTML and make sure you show it on any page and then make the quiz and experiment with it with the student role so I hope that helped have a nice day